Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about execution process in C++. So, first of all here how the execution takes place means first of all user will write the code ok that means users means we, we will write the some code ok. So, whatever may be the code which was written by the user that is called as a source code ok. Source code means the code which was written by the user ok. Suppose some sample program I have written ok. After writing that program I have to save this sample program as some file name that is sample dot cpp as it is a C++ program we have to save with a dot cpp extension ok. So, the user entered code it is a source code ok. So, after writing this when we compile what the compiler will do the compiler will convert our source code to machine code that is machine understandable code ok. Source code is user understandable code and user entered code user written code that code the compiler it is a language translator it converts our source code to machine code machine understandable code ok that means that code is being understand by the operating system. Now, how what the compiler will do the compiler converts this sample dot cpp to sample dot exe exe file. Now, the code is converted into executable file this executable file is machine code right it is understandable to the machine that is the operating system can understand that code. Then it is the job of the operating system ok to display the result to the user ok the operating system will execute and it will display the result to the user ok. This is the process internal process how it execution takes place ok. So, what we will do we will write we will enter some code that code is called as source code after writing the code what we will do we will save the code with the dot cpp extension file name dot cpp ok. Once we written the code we will compile the code ok compilation means checking for errors. Once the compilation is successful then the compiler will what it will do it will convert our source code to machine code that is machine understandable code ok. So, our source code is now converted into executable code that is exec sample dot exe file. Sample dot cpp file is now converted to sample dot exe file that is executable file ok. So, here now this code is understandable to operating system then the operating system will display the result to the user ok. Then it is the job of the operating system to display the result to the user that means the operating system will execute our program and it will display the result to the user. Like this internally the execution process will be done ok. So, now let me write one sample program ok just I want to print a hello world ok on the output screen. So, see here how to write that hash include ivo stream dot h ok. So, this is the header file I have to use next int main ok. So, here I want to display hello world on the output screen ok. So, as it is an output function you have to use out c out ok. This is the function you have to call c out here you have to write hello world ok. Hello world next as it is int main here you have to use return 0. So, this is my code ok. So, see here first of all hash include ivo stream dot h. So, ivo stream dot h it is an header file. So, see here C++ library. 
So, C++ library is a collection of header files, ok. So, here it contains some header files. For example, iostream.h is one header file and next one is iomanip.h is another header file and similarly you have cmath like this are some header files are there ok. So, this header file library C++ library means it is a collection of header files like this so many header files are there C string like that so many header files are there ok. So, this header file it is a collection of uh, functions and classes ok header file means it is a collection of functions and classes that means it contains some functions and classes ok. Suppose here I was stream it contains O stream I stream these are the classes and it contains some functions like C out C in like this it contains some functions. Similarly, IO manip it contains uh, some manipulation if you want to perform some manipulations on output then you have to go with IO manip. So, set IOS flag ok, reset IOS flag these are some of the functions these are all predefined functions built in functions set precision set fill like that we have some functions. Similarly, C math contains some mathematical functions like a sin, cos, tan, ok. Like this, some square root, power, some inbuilt functions are there, ok. Similarly, C string, some string related functions, ok. String operations you can perform, like uh, you can find the length of the string, ok. String concatenation, like this, is some predefined functions are there. So, C++ library is a collection of header files and header file is a collection of classes and functions, ok. Suppose if you want to make use of those functions or classes, you have to include these header files in your program, ok. So, here I am including iostream.h header file. So, what is the purpose of this header file? If you want to make use of these functions C out C in in your program, ok you have to include this header file iostream.h ok then only it is possible to use uh, see these functions this is an output function ok if you want to make uh, uh, if you want to make use of input and output functions in your program you have to include this header file that is iostream.h ok without that uh, if you do not include th uh, this header file this is C out this is statement will not be executed it would not run ok. So, definitely if you want to make use of this function you have to include this header file in your program ok. Hash include IO means input output stream dot h. This is to make use that means if you want to uh, make use of input and output functions in your program you have to include this header file IO stream dot h ok. Next to int main. So, main is a function of written type integer ok. So, as it is an integer written type, it has to return some integer value that is why return 0. Return 0 means this 0 is will be written to the operating system meaning our program is successfully executed ok. So, within the main function I am writing a statement C out ok. It is used to print the to print the result on the output screen. So, here my result is a string ok. So, whatever may be the string that will be printed on the output screen. So, here the string that is hello world output is hello world string is printed on the output screen ok. So, hello world return 0. So, it will return uh, this 0 value to the operating system meaning the program is executed successfully and close the brace. Once this brace is closed what it means our program is executed ok execution stops here execution starts and here execution stops ok. So, this is the sample program using C++. So, this program is to display hello world on the output screen ok. So, like this the execution process will be done in the C++ ok. Thank you.